Among the green leafy vegetables, methi is one of my favorite. It adds a very distinctive flavor to any of the dishes you make. The dried kasuri methi is another one which will enhance anything where you add tomatoes. Basically we dry it and powder it and add it but fresh methi with some tomatoes and potatoes or with chicken is one of my favorites. So today fresh methi grown in my farm along with some chicken. If you want to grow vegetables one of the most easiest and the first one you should try is methi leaves because in just three days you will start them sprouting out and within one week or 10 days you can start using them. So these are almost uh, 30 day old uh, methi greens. So I'm going to chop them and use it. But before that, I'm going to make chicken. Basically, whenever I use methi and chicken in the hotels, I used to use the chicken that has been cooked in the tandoor. So without that, you can always make it at home by adding a little bit of uh, turmeric, some chili powder, not too much, add some salt. This chicken has been brined. So it is ready to cook. So what I do is kind of saute it for a few minutes and keep it aside. Then make the methi tomato curry in which we are going to add this. Adding little curd will make this curry even more tasty. Add a little bit of regular refined oil but for the greens always use a little bit of mustard oil that will make it very tasty. For the South Indians who are not used to using a lot of mustard oil add a little bit to enhance the flavor of the curry. Just saute them in the oil. Spread the chicken pieces in the pan, preferably in a non-stick and saute it till they are half cooked. Once the chicken is half cooked, you should be able to make them dance in the pan. That means no more moisture left. Reduce the flame and transfer it into a bowl. In the leftover oil, I'm going to add the mustard oil and slightly we're going to let this mustard oil heat up some more mustard seeds this is optional once they splutter add cumin seeds see the browning in the pan that will enhance the flavor of your dish now add onions some more salt and saute it till they are slightly colored when they are getting colored add garlic some ginger paste You can add a little of turmeric, some coriander powder, lots of green chili. I'm adding a little bit of uh, chili powder also. Add curd. This is beaten curd. All the masalas now will start getting cooked in this. Once all the masalas you scrape off the pan, in this we're going to add the tomatoes. You can add even tomato puree. You know, if you want a gravy that is slightly thick and especially if you want to eat it with rumali roti, naan or something, you can add a little bit of cashew nut powder. Not much, very little to give that body to this curry. If you are adding chopped tomatoes, make sure put the lid on and let it cook till the tomatoes are all mashed up. In this, as I said, little bit of cashew nut powder, not too much. Just for this much curry, I used Two pieces of cashew nut that's it and uh, mix it once again add a little water cook till these tomatoes kind of mashed up and disappear into the gravy lid on for another four five minutes in the meanwhile the fresh methi from my garden get the roots away and finely chop it the stem side make it finely chopped and you can go a little easy when you go to the leaf side all mashy mashy in this add some more water add the pre-cooked chicken in this and another one or two minutes of cooking a lot of people like the gravy a little watery but i want nicely coated so now all the fresh methi leaf in this, just mix it, do not put the lid on. There is a small amount of moisture coming from the methi leaf also. That should be good enough and I want it slightly thick and let this cook without the lid on. Once you put the lid on, the color 
get will get slightly blackened. You want nice green, fresh looking. Just don't put the lid and cook it on a slow flame for two three minutes. In the hotels, we let it cook in such a way that some of the oil comes out. But for me, this much is good. This thickness is good. This is best eaten with roti, rice, or anything. Even as an side dish for a lot of you know, even with sambar and all that, I just love this because of full flavor. You know, whatever you eat, the methi will give that extra punch. So even with curd rice, you can enjoy this. Ah, good. And check the salt. One final time. That's it. Ready to serve. Nice and hot. Look at the way the methi is kind of hugging the chicken. I love all kind of hugging and especially when chicken and other along with the green curry. Very simple, methi, chicken, homemade, but the flavors are just amazing. When I was in Maurya Sheraton in Delhi, as a young chef, I used to enjoy it so much. We used to make it with chicken tikka and the similar flavors I enjoy and it takes back to those memories. Mm. Mm. Anything, any greens with the tomatoes, especially with added chicken to it, it's just amazing. Ah. Mm. Chicken has to melt in your mouth. And this gravy with a little bit of mustard oil, absolutely burst of flavors, the Bumba Bumba way. Mm. Wow. Friends, make it, eat it, enjoy it and spread the love of good food to all your friends and family. Mm. Hope the coming year will be even more fun, lots of good food.